we are going further with a better control net to enhance our AI image and video creation. The Depth Anything, a project leaded by TikTok and University of Hong Kong. Well, what's so special with this when we have Depth Map Control Net already? Basically, the Depth Anything model is trained on 1.5 million identified images and 62 million more random images. Their trained data provide this model with more capability to detect elements on an image and recognize the distance between the objects and the camera view. Now, before I uploaded this video when I was preparing it, I saw our Discord community were talking about depth anything in control net to enhance the AI animation. And it's great that I saw my AI friends in Discord are having the same vision and aware of this new model. So I am going to test this model in image and video frames, also doing a comparison with other depth map model as well. Let's get started. So the first thing we will see in the research paper page, their model compared with the Midas version 3.1. Now here we have some raw images, and then there's the output of the depth models for both Midas and depth anything. And as you can see, this mushroom and the trees, they have very detailed to identify the distance between the objects to the camera, and there's different colors with the depth anything. And scroll down a little bit, we'll see all different demo videos that they did for comparison with Midas and the depth anything. Currently, the Midas is the closest result with depth anything for depth mapping at this moment, and that's why they are using this to compare with their model. And the most exciting thing is that you see the clothing of the peoples, and then the characters spinning, you see there's a distance going through, and then the colors of the depth map are also identified. Which one is the closest one, and which is the far from the camera? And why TikTok need to do develop this model? Well, because they want to put this in their video editing tools, which called a magic edit. And this magic edit, their teams is going to apply this depth anything models into their videos effect. And maybe soon on your TikTok apps, camera, filters, uh, or even hopefully they will put that in the cap cut as well. So scroll down, we have all the data and the metrics that they tested. And uh, here we have the paper, the research paper. And uh, scroll down here, I have saw the formula of using that map, uh, how they calculate. And you see this manual label and then the pursuit label. And um, yeah, this is all the detail of the research paper. If you're interested, you can check it out. I will put the link in the description. So let's go to the practical site right now. Now here's the GitHub page of their models. And you will see again, a lot of demonstrations. And also there's links where you can download the control net models and it is compatible for automatic 1111 and also comfy UI. And both of them are just downloading the same thing. Basically you go to this hugging face and there's a lot of files that you can download to integrating this one. But most commonly we are using the checkpoint control net. this one 1 1.45 gigabyte. Now this save tensors are the death map control net files that you need to download. Now save that in your comfy UI. And then go to your models folder. And then you scroll down and see you have the control net folders. And then you are going to save these files in here. Now this Diffusion's Note model save tensors, you got to rename this to your file's name. So for me, I rename it to death anything control net. So it's easier to recognize when you are using in comfy UI. So let's switch to the comfy UI. We open up the comfy UI manager. You have to update your control net custom notes here. Now you have to click this one, the preprocessors control net preprocessors custom note. You have to update this one and restart your comfy UI afterward. And then you come back to your comfy UI. I have already updated mine, so I don't have to do this part. But then when you want to use this preprocessors, basically you type this depth anything preprocessors. Now, as you can see, 
there's other DVMAP preprocessors in Comfy UI, and you can use that as well. And then in anything preprocessors, we see, well, very basic configurations, just like other uh, control net. We don't need any special options or special values to input in there. Just pass the image inside. In this example, I'm using my animated workflow. So you create a control net, advanced control net, and then you connect to the image and the pre-processing output image are going to connect to the control net. Applied custom notes here. Now, as you see, when I execute in the first time, it will download this death anything VITL. Now, this is the checkpoint models files for def anything. We will have to use that in the pre-processing loading. So you don't have to download it manually. You can just click the cube prompts and it will download automatically in the first time. And now, as you can see, this is the first example from my image that I did previously. And you see, this is pretty nice that the main character is on the middle. And then you see the body shape and then the face shape. There's identify some shadows in between. And then the armpits underneath there, you see there's shadows. And also you see the back backgrounds, there's peoples around there, and there's different colors indicating different distance from the backgrounds. People as well. Now this model is pretty details on identifying the distance between the objects and the cameras. So of course the closest characters or objects will be the most highlighted one. And then eventually you will see the fading out for more gray color and then more further and you will see something even in the black colors. But then, most of the image, they can identify any moving objects or objects that it will be created for the new image in ControlNet. So this is the after-generated image reference from my image through the ControlNet def anything. And I turned it down, the denoising to very low. So there's going to be like almost the same style with this. So let's try it with another one. Right here, I have a girl standing by between two piano. And you see this. Let's run one time and we will see some result in here. Now you see this. Piano's on the back. You see there's some distance between the cameras. And let me create some upscaler image from this. Now here we have some distance from the piano keyboard to the other side of this. You see there's some distance creating. Uh, and then the chairs that beside the pianos, they have some distance, uh, like there's some far away between the camera. Now let me relay out this workflow so we can test out with other depth map as well. So here I got the Zoe depth map preprocessors to create an output of this black and white control net image. And then this is the result from this SUI death map. Which objects is closer or further away from the camera view? And then switching to the next one, we see these are the Midas preprocessors. And this one a little bit better than the SUI death map, except there's still some backgrounds that cannot identify. Well, it can identify this piano, the side view of this piano, this corner right here, but then eventually the back side of the windows. And then the door frame is just blurring out away. It is not like identified as an objects or distance in this image result. As you can see, there's totally difference if you see this in detail. Now go to the last one, of course, is the death anything you see, there's a lot more objects. And then the distance identified in the death map result, you see the white and the black mapping of the image. Uh, and there's a lots of objects even the light bulb hanging on the ceiling. And then uh, the door frame on the backgrounds is still identified with different color to mark it as a distance in the photos here. And then after the AI image generated, you see the light bulb does highlight it. You feel like there's a light bulb hanging on the ceiling and then the door frame behind it even is blur, but it's still able to see. There's a layering effect in there, and it is really cool. If you do it in side-by-side -side comparison, you see also the curtain beside the windows. Hey, there's some layering kind of feeling of this in the death anything. And also the wall, eh, it creates more detail. 
on the wall, you see, it feels like a marble surface on the wall in the deaf anything AI image. But then in the MDIS image is nothing. It's still flattened. It's like one flattened pictures. Okay, let's try another one. Now, we are going to try some piano style image in this video. And for this video, we will see there's a heavy difference. A big difference between the Midas depth map with our depth map preprocessors, how the results are coming out with this too, and also the SUI dev map. Well, the SUI dev map in this image, it cannot be compared with the other two. It's models because as you can see, the curtain behind the characters is totally different compared with deaf anything. Uh, the curtain behind the characters in here, they have layers and details, and the SUI dev map it cannot detect that and therefore their AI generate image cannot generate so much detail in the result. And then another one, let's try this one is like a gothic style and grand piano rooms. And then you see that anything result in here. The preprocessor can identify the item or the objects behind the windows. So the outside of the windows there are uh, some buildings and some trees that anything can identify. But then, starting from the Midas depth map, it barely identified some buildings outside of the windows, but it started to fading out a little bit. And then the trees, it cannot be identified. And in the SWE depth map, obviously you can see outside of the window is totally blacked out in this result here. It cannot identify what kind of thing is happening in that area. So I turn it up like a higher denoise for the generate result for this one. This image is coming from the deaf anything preprocessors. And then I upscale this one also, and then turn it up the denoising to totally different styles with the original source image. And it kind of looks cool with this one, and it creates more elements in the windows and then the pianos. So let's try with the animated workflow in here. I have very famous cartoons, their songs, their MV, and this Japanese cartoon. I cannot play this in this YouTube video because it is copyright protected. I just want to generate the depth map image frames on here to demonstrate for you guys about the depth anything. Now you see this one in here, we have the basketball players that is doing the layout and then behind the characters is starting to feel different. Now this one, mostly we cannot do that in other depth map, honestly. So you guys can have a try. And if you cannot install this one in your local PC, you can try it in their hugging phase. It's pretty cool. They also have different colorations like the orange and yellow for the death map uh, to identify between the camera distance. And look at the fish here. And behind there, there's starfish. And then there's some other fish that is identified as different distance here. Yeah. So. Try it out with this depth, anything. You will feel stunning using this for your animations result in Comfy UI. So I will see you in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.